I'm trying to like actually film. I have one video done, but it's like a really long, boring one. But it's it's necessary for what I what I want to do. And I thought was just start. There's no perfect anything. Yeah. <laughs> Figure it out as you Everybody go. Everybody watch is gonna just do whatever happens throughout the day. Like, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to just like make episodes with a plan. I, do I look like the person with a plan? Right. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I'm fucking chopping. I'm chopping uh chopping sweet potatoes. So technically I'm kind of meal prepping, I guess. I suppose this is a good time to, to talk about the bodybuilding part of my life. Skateboarding actually got me into bodybuilding. It probably doesn't make much fucking sense. I've been skateboarding for fucking almost two fucking decades, okay? I jumped on my board one day and I was just like Oh my god, it took me like fucking an hour to warm up and like I was so stiff and just like winded. So I'm like, fuck, you gotta do something about this. And so I would sneak off at night and there was a track by my house and I used to run at the track. And, and then for whatever reason I was like, I started doing push-ups thinking it would strengthen my wrist or something. I don't, I don't really know. Cause after slamming on, on your wrist so many fucking, for so many years, your wrist start to become just, you know, little limp fucking fairy like just not strong at all. Oh, I know, I remember what it was. I heard about uh, pro skater uh, Corey Duffel used to do 100 push-ups or something before he'd go to bed at night or something. So I was like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna fucking do. And then push-ups turned into like crunches. Before you know it, I had a fucking gym membership. I guess I had a general idea of what the fuck I was doing, I guess. I mean, looking back, I had no fucking clue. But I wasn't training for aesthetics then. That's that's the difference between then and now. I basically just went there to be healthier, you know, try to stay mobile and, you know, so I could skate a little longer. That's all, that's all this was all about. It was just about... I just want to skate as long as I fucking can skate. And if I gotta go to the goddamn gym, if I've gotta, you know, exercise, work out, then so be it. I'm gonna do that so I can fucking continue to skate. I will not stop skating. Hell no, fuck no, no way. Fast forward about a year, maybe. I started seeing the, the changes in my body. And then like, once you see those fucking changes in your body, you're, you're fucking hooked. You're like, holy shit, like, I can do that to my fucking body, you know? So then it became it became aesthetics. And still, like, I didn't have a, a, a great concept of what the fuck I was doing. But I, I educated myself, I learned more and more, and I just kept to it. I kept trying out different things. And that's the thing with bodybuilding, man. You gotta fucking figure out what works for you. So many people get hung up on, like, what's the proper form and the procedure and the, the magical number. There's really no magical number, no pro All it is is hard work and figuring out what works fucking best for you. In all aspects of nutrition, rest, and fucking training. Those three things. Nothing else in the world is gonna change your body with those three fucking things. Yeah, man, so now I got like, I got, I'm hooked on two different things, skateboarding and fucking bodybuilding, you know? It's, it is what it is. You know, bodybuilding is fucking dope, man. I love the whole fucking lifestyle of it. Just like skateboarding, it's, it's self-gratification, you know what I mean? It's, do not, there's no one else, you're not competing with anyone else, unless you're, you know, one of those bodybuilders who compete, then by, I guess you are kind of, competing with other people if you step on stage. When you're in the gym, you're training whatever, you see the changes in your body and you're, you're disciplined with your diet, your food and everything, and make sure you get the proper rest. And like, you're, you're competing with yourself and when, you, when you're winning, when you're winning, I guess, uh, <laughs> yeah, like you fucking, you get self gratification out of it. You're like, fuck yeah, same thing with skateboarding. You spend fucking hours trying to land that fucking trick. And then, you know, just for that second of, oh, yes, fucking bolts, man. Feet are on the goddamn fucking board. You're riding away. Fucking best feeling ever, man. You're like, fuck yeah, I fucking did that shit. You know what I mean? Whatever the fuck trick it is, you know? You're proving nothing to no one else but your fucking self. And that's it. Like, that 
That's, I'm about that shit. I've had conversations with friends and people like, what's the end goal or what's the goal? Like, there's no fucking goal with this. It's just to be better than fucking yesterday. That's that's the only goal. There's no goal. It doesn't stop. Same thing with skateboarding. Same thing with bodybuilding. It's fucking same. To me, they're the fucking same. It's like there's no end goal. Just to be better than yesterday and make sure you're having fucking fun. That is fucking it. Alright, so we're on our way to the fucking gym. It's gonna be a good time. Fuck yeah, get excited. Here we go. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Like, uh, Jim Perry. Oh, what happened to Jim Carrey? Has he got a movie coming out? Is he still alive? He's still alive. He'll never <laughs> die. Last thing he did was put out a, a love confession video to Lindsay Lohan. Oh, yeah? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> On the internet, I thought it was a way. Yeah, it sounds like it. Everyone's like, Jim's really losing it. <laughs> like, it's Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, I think he's lost like, it a while ago. It would be different if it was uh, the dude from Two and a Half Men. Who's the fucking Charlie Sheen? Charlie Sheen. Like, he put out a love, a love confession to anybody. It'd be like, somebody, like, put their protective yeah, capacity. Yeah. Like, he's coming with the tiger's blood. He's, <laughs> he's coming. All right, Charlie Sheen. There you go. Mm, let's get oh. wild. Charlie Sheen getting wild. Awesome. <laughs> Where's Kill Papa Kurt? Kill the bash game. Kill the bash game. That's gray out black right there. That's yeah. all. Bash it forward. <laughs> bash game is so hard right now. That was a good time. Normally I do 300, you know, when you're not here. I don't want to make you feel bad, but... I mean, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate you not want, wanting to make me feel... Because, I mean, I'm sensitive. <laughs> I know, I've I noticed. Mean, just look at my headphones. But I gotta get it. 
big because I'm a little guy trying to like knish and get get big and I got I got to get all the all the ladies and the fellas like knish <laughs> all the fellas. Uh, all the fellas. That's all I want. <laughs> just, Not the lady. I just need more fellas. I just need more fellas in my life. All the single fellas. All the single fellas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's make that a song. They're doing it. Pretty much listen to an entire Wu Tang song. <laughs> Five minute drop sets. How do you get gains? Five minute drop sets. Science. <laughs> So what time tomorrow? Uh, three, four, three, four, the latest, okay. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna shower and get the fuck out of here. All right, time to shower. Let's show on the road. Pulling it together. Kanish, I forgot to introduce him. You'll be seeing a lot of Kanish in these vlogs. And he's fucking six foot eight or some shit. It's fucking big. And uh, he's been training with me for the past seven or eight months now. And uh, man, that fucking kid, man, he puts in so much fucking work. And to watch him go from where he was uh, till now, I mean, he couldn't even uh, really dip his own body weight without using the assist, you know? He went from that to now he fucking dips a plate. like seven eight months man like it's you know it's it's crazy like he knows that he knows I was a trainer so he, he basically trusted me you know and you know normally as a trainer I wouldn't put a beginner through what the fuck I do you know per se you know it really depends on the person but he didn't question it. he's just like this is what we're doing this is what I'm doing and I'm gonna do the fucking work and and he has not, he's no fucking issues, you know what I mean? He, he comes in, he keeps up, to the point now, <laughs> it's crazy, because now, like, I've, I've, sometimes I've got to keep up with him, you know what I mean? Because he's, like I said, he's like 6'7", six, 6'8", six, he's fucking bigger than me, so he's starting to get fucking stronger than me. So, this channel is, uh, it's, I don't know, I can't really call it a fitness channel. There's a lot of fitness channels out there, but I mean, obviously... Training is a big fucking part of my life and I do it damn near every fucking day. So there's gonna be a lot of training mixed with other shit, man. Look at it as fucking fitness entertainment channel. So like a bodybuilding entertainment channel. Like this is not 
Like you may learn something. You may learn something here. You may learn some tricks and tips or something or like want to try something out. I might throw a trick or tip out there, maybe, but like that's not my fucking forte. This mainly is to fucking get myself back into filming and to share things, share filming with others and present it in a way that I would enjoy fucking watching, you know what I mean? But now I'm heading the fuck home. I'm gonna get meal number motherfucking three. I'm gonna run this red light. That's right. Because we don't give a fuck about anything. And then I got some fucking work to catch up on. And hopefully we can end it this day in a reasonable fucking time. And of course I've gotta figure out how to make a shit ton of money in a short amount of time. That is the story of my fucking life.